very humid. I don't know what the dew point is, but um, very, very humid and chilly. So it just kind of, kind of clammy. But um, I was able to wear short sleeves uh, today. And so I'm not really complaining. I'm just saying. So here's how it's going to work. Um, KD, I don't, I don't think I did receive your message. I just checked messages a few minutes ago. So um, maybe just click resend and it'll pop to the top of my messages. Um, but I checked them a little while ago and I thought I was all cut up. So please feel free to resend. Hi, Carrie and kids. Hi, Riley. This is a ThreadUp unboxing. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about ThreadUp and uh, encourage you to bookmark my other shows if you're here for kids clothes, because this is in the women's category. Okay. And so let me just do this to see if I can get a couple more friends to come in. This is just the bookmark notification. And then let me pull up the thread up one. So if you're not familiar with thread up, it is a, um, people ask me all the time or ask in the uh, like Facebook forums, where do you guys source? Where do you get your stuff from? Well, you know that I used to have a children's store. So I used to source the traditional way where you would go to shows and showrooms and buy wholesale. Now a lot of it is online. There's different wholesale marketplaces and the traditional retail business model for kids is that you buy it at a certain price and then charge double or because I was at the beach, there's a little bit of a, a, a beach um, ad and it was, um, Katie, I see that it just came. Oh yeah, no, the puffer coats. You know what? I started to reply to that one earlier and whatnot was acting up. Atlanta kids might have puffer coats or love me once, twice. I know that they're up, um, they're in colder weather. Uh, I was at the beach, so I never ordered puffer coats except like once or twice for my own individual kids. So no, I don't have puffer coats. Sorry. I did see that message and I started to reply, but what not was that? No. Anywho, um, since that was how I sourced things for my store, now I'm not really, or I shouldn't be sourcing because I don't have my bricks and mortar anymore, but I still love the thrill of the hunt. So I'm usually sourcing at Goodwill. That's what a lot of the stuff over here is that I'm kind of um, sorting through and peppering into some of my shows uh, for dollar starts at the end. I, I mean, I, I go to Google for my own kids and uh, for myself sometimes too. Uh, we've got great Goodwill outlets here in Los Angeles and nearby. And then ThreadUp was one of those places where I would send my things. And I don't recommend it um, for sending. I wholly recommend whatnot if you're going to sell your things. But if you want to source, sometimes it's fun to get a mystery box. And one of my moderators, AMAC, um, she's been getting the children's boxes and uh, she seems to like them, you know, pretty good deal for your money. Um, Ashley got one of these mystery boxes and she was super disappointed with hers. The last two that I got um, each had a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses in them. So that was definitely worth the money that I spent. They're like 40, I think they're $36, $38. But then when you add in tax and shipping, unless you have coupons, they're like $44 all in or 40, 44 or 48, you get 10 items that are, I don't want to say thread up rejects. Uh, they call these the fun boxes. So it's things that people send in that they don't normally actually sell on thread up. So they're like, well, we might as well throw them in a box and call it a fun box. So it can be anything from like toiletry kits or neckties for men because they don't even sell men stuff. Um, it might be pajamas or slippers, um, headbands, jewelry. I'm not sure, but they're called the thread up fun box and they only pop up on the website every so often. So I was um, fortunate to, um, oh, perfect. Yeah, so Carrie and Kids has coats. There you go, guys, you know, I'm super reseller friendly and um, I'm happy for you guys to promote your shows. This is just really a, a quick like sip and chat and I don't know, just wanted to catch up with everybody before things get really crazy. My family comes into town on Sunday and um, I assume many of you are traveling for the holidays as well. I mean, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. We haven't done any Thanksgiving shopping yet. All right, so I haven't opened this up. I am quite literally opening it up live on whatnot. So this is the reveal of a thread up mystery box. They, the one 
thing I don't like about ThreadUp is they don't usually put an invoice in the boxes, but for these, they do put a little packing slip. So yeah, it's here on top and it says, yeah, $34. Mixed sizes, rescue box, fun box, 10 items. So $3.40 an item when you don't factor in shipping and uh, tax, but we've got a lot of tax here in LA County. So 10% added on top of that, I think it came out to $4 and 80 cents a piece. So let's think good thoughts. Maybe this is a great box. Maybe I'll get a curling iron like Ashley did, which is not really fun. It's totally random. All right, let's make some guesses. What do you guys think is gonna be in here? Maybe I'm gonna guess a pair of socks. I'm gonna guess a scarf. I can feel the top thing is definitely fabric. So like a scarf or a shirt. Yeah, it's definitely a scarf. I can see the fringe. So I'm gonna guess a scarf. I'm gonna guess socks. Probably a phone case. And here's the deal. I get to keep one thing that I'm not going to sell. Everything else, I'm going to start at a dollar. So there will be nine opportunities to buy something uh, at a dollar, and none of it weighs very much. And then if you want to make offers on anything that you've ever seen in my bin, um, I'm happy to bring those things over as well. All right. A Johnny Was scarf? Oh. Massive clear on. I am here for it. I need the motivation. Let me know. Tag me. Send it to me. Spam me so that I um, show up and mod for you. Oh, your last second kit box. That's the thing. It's very hit or miss. All right, let's take a look at this scarf. Um, on first glance, it's, it's cute enough. I am not a floral scarf person, but it is new with tags. Uh, it's from Ann Taylor Loft. $39.50. So a little matronly, maybe, in my opinion. Like it looks definitely like something a teacher would wear or you know, somebody that works in an office. It is a nice scarf, but it is not exceptional in terms of excitement. But if anybody loves this scarf, it is good for gifting and tailored new with tags, $39.50, and it's just a dollar. Okay, so here's the first item. Quick five seconds, and we'll do something fun at the end, okay? We'll do something, yay, banana birds. Like, oh, my mom would love that scarf, or I would love that scarf. I'm here in, like I said, California, so we just don't wear scarves quite as much. So, yay, banana bird. And of course, take a look at the bin. I've added a lot of toys and gifty items. You know, tis the season for gifting. This next one looks like a pet sweater, and we have two pugs. Oh no, it's Zara. <laughs> okay, wait, but doesn't it look like a pet sweater when it's folded like that? It kind of looked like a pet sweater. I was excited, but it's actually Zara shorts. These are nice, $35.90, size small, sweater shorts. These are super cute. I, um, I haven't been doing a lot of women's resale yet. That's my goal for the new year is to start to have more women's shows. So these unboxings are just kind of fun to get things going. <laughs> that is hilarious. If they don't sell, I might actually try that. <laughs> Too cute. My friend Ashley said I should put these on my two pugs as get along shorts where you make one of them go through this hole and the other one go through this hole. Like the t-shirts that they put on toddlers or preschoolers that don't get along. You put a dad t-shirt on them, um, arms out one, arms out the other, and then you make them get along. So I think these um, will probably sell for a couple dollars in a proper women's show. Did I say slippers? Because I had an idea that there were going to be slippers in here. These are Nanette, Nanette Lapore. They were $5.99 at TJ Maxx. But they are pretty cute. One of the girls might actually like these. They're for um, medium, small, medium feet. They're, let's see if they have a size. I'm sure they're one size fits most, but they do look a little on the smaller side. So up to size eight, I would say. All right. Next is a bra. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is Savage Fenty. Let's see what size it is. That's a good one. That's a good piece. Savage by um, Fenty is, um, oh, what's her name? Um, not Alicia Keys. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Starts with Rihanna. Rihanna. And new with tags. 
38C, guys. 38C, guess what? That one is my pick. So that means if there's um, Ray Bans or anything else down in this box, if there's a Rolex in here, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna start it at a dollar because this is my size or pretty close to it, and I've never tried one of the Fenty bras, so I'm gonna actually try this. Okay, so that's my pick. And we've done, let's see, one. This was pick number four, I think, right? There's guaranteed to be at least ten items. So one, two, three, four. All right. What do we think is all? I see another. I see some socks. I see some socks. Two left feet. Great white shark. Uh, looks like these were four ninety nine at one point. Running the great white socks shorts. Welcome in, guys. We're just having fun opening up. <laughs> exactly. Sharky needs these. My kids are always fighting over socks, so you never know. I also have an aunt that always wears funny um, um, socks, so. All right, this looks like a scarf. MF Company. Okay. Nope, it's not a scarf. It's um, more socks. These are really long socks. Bold and fun accessories for happy humans. Minimalist folk. That's what MF, <laughs> like MF Company. Okay stands for minimalist folk. Minimal. I can't believe you guys were thinking that. I know I've got like five second options. I mean, if anybody wants me to rerun it, they will. But um, these are size medium. Are they medium kids? No, I don't think they're medium kids. Sharky, I had some sh shark socks. So yeah, no, these are medium kids, right? Yeah, those look like kid socks. Oh, goodness, guys. I don't know. Help me out. Are they kids or women's? It says for happy humans, but that's a smallish foot. Anyway, it says medium. They look small to me, like tween size. They're a dollar if anybody wants to give them a try. <laughs> Sad people have to go barefoot. Um, too cute. did you hear me say that I lost my big toenail this weekend or this earlier this week? They're a kid's brand. Okay, good. Thank you, AMAC. I appreciate that because I was like, there's no way. So there you go. I will put these back in a kid's show. Same thing with like these uh, shark socks. I will maybe put those in a kid's show. But okay, there's two more items. This is watch where you swap the straps for a new look. It definitely is one of those kind of Oh yeah, No Boundaries is Target, right? Or is No Boundaries Target or Walmart? I feel like it's Target. Actually, the tank top that I have on, I was like, oh, I really love this tank top. Which one is it? And it's No Boundaries. And I'm like, well, I am getting more because it's nicer than um, some of the James Purse ones that I have that are out. Walmart. Okay, thank you, ladies. Walmart. Every now and then. All right, so if anybody would like a set of three Walmart watches, 10 second auction. One dollar. Hi, Liquid Fox. Hi, baby. Hi, pups to pooches. We're opening up a mystery box. So far, it hasn't been super exciting, but there's two. One, two, three. I think I feel three things. ZVE, original and handmade. ZVE, wallet case compatible for 12 Pro. So it's a phone case wallet, but... Is anybody still carrying a 12 Pro? It's cute if you have that size phone. Huh. Got the little 12 Pro. Looks like it had the straps at one point, but doesn't anymore. Dollar if anybody wants that. Size 12 Pro. I have to ask the girls what size their phones are. They they get our hand-me-downs, hand-me-down phones, and I can never quite remember. Hi, welcome in, guys. Give me a follow. I do lots of kids shows and snack shows, but right now we're doing a fun unboxing. Okay, this is a random um, keychain. It is blingy McBling, and then it has happy spelled with two P's and two Y's. Happy. Spell the two P's and two Y's. That would make a good white elephant gift. Because everybody needs to be happy. 
Okay. Oh, this next one could be a good one, guys. I recognize this brand. This is the last one. So nothing super exciting. No Ray-Bans this time. No Fendi. Nothing, nothing outrageous. This one is Alex and Ami, which is um, a jewelry brand that um, is in upper, um, upper scale. How do I want to say it? Um, malls. It's a mall brand. So $28 retail. It's new in package and it's starfish new in package and it's starfish okay so thirty seconds this time because I'm running it from up there it's cute Alex and Ani I know some of them um, would make good giveaways but since I'm not doing a giveaway for this show instead. Oh, Liquifox is going to grab that. Liquifox, this is cute. This is cute. This is a good gift. So we sold the scarf. We sold the Alex and Ani. Thank you. Thank you. And then I am going to put, hi, sweet red panda. I'm going to put the wallet in this box. I'm going to put the watches in this box. I'm going to put the shark socks. All of these things are new with tags, guys. Shark socks. The kids' stripy socks. The happy with two Ys. The slippers. And the Zara sweater shorts. These are actually really cute. Also new with tags. Size small. $35.90 retail. And if you would like your own little not so mystery box, thank you for playing along. I'm going to start it at a dollar. And then I can run a few more kind of, I don't want to say random things, but um, yeah, I've got a lot of little odds and ends here. So a dollar if anybody wants some white elephant gifts, some teacher gifts, some stocking gifts. And, you know, you can always take the rest of it over to your local um, thrift store. They like things that are new with tags to put in their, their cases. Liquifox is winning. She's already got um, half of the shipping paid. So New York Valley Girl says, wait, wait, I'll take it. Awesome. Thank you guys for bidding it up a little bit. And I'm going to do this again next Thursday. I have one more box. Last time I did two in one show, but I was like, I got to stretch them out a little bit. Liquifox. Let me go ahead and put your bracelet in there as well. And there's still room if you want to add some snacks or anything from the bin. Okay. So that was, that was fun. That's what I love to do, you guys. That's what I love to do. And then I wanted to show you a little bit more. I've always talked about how I send things in to ThreadUp. Well, I've gotten a lot of that stuff back. And it's all still sitting here in the to-do pile, like to take a picture of it and post it on one of the other um, uh, platforms, but uh, that's not happening. So let's open up and see what Tara sent into ThreadUp. It was accepted by them. And then um, part of why it came back to me is because either I tried to charge too much for it um, or it was maybe the wrong season. So it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. It's just not necessarily the most um recent style but like i said it usually was a uh, wrong season like sweaters in summer but sweaters are great now i send in a lot of banana republic stuff because uh when i was a teacher i wore banana republic like crazy just kind of black gray this one is a really pretty one i'm doing dollar starts on all of these you guys this one is a beautiful banana republic um sleeveless sweater cardigan it says size small, but it really looks like it could fit small, medium. And I think it is barely worn, if at all. It's like new with, without the tag. No pilling really, guys. Like, none at all. It's heavy. But I still have some shipping allowances, so...
10 seconds, starting at a dollar, size small, career wear, cozy, sleeveless, could fit a medium, a little bit heavy, goodness, that is very heavy. All right, next up, this one feels like silk. This one is Jessica Simpson, size four. A lot of the smaller sizes came back too. And it is polyester, but very silky, very silky feeling. Okay. And it's this beautiful cherry color. Size for, um, not cherry, um, almost more of a, a raspberry, I guess. A raspberry is what I was thinking. And it looks like this is the tie. So let's check and see. Is that a tie or is that a, yeah, that's the tie to tie around the waist, I believe. Dollar. Fuchsia, Leo says. No, fuchsia has more pink in it. This one is more maroon. All right, guys, settle the debate. I said raspberry. Leo says fuchsia. Nobody else wants to weigh in. Mustang Patty, you got to tell us what color you think that is. This one is size eight. No, excuse me, size six petite and tailor. New with tags, guys. New with tags, $98 retail. Ann Taylor, size six petite workwear. Um, they look, oh goodness, Lucas, you scared me. <laughs> you know what I realized? Okay. All right, so you can have some computer time. I thought you put on the shirt that I got in the size 10, 12. I opened up this shirt. I bought it twice for you. I liked it that much. I didn't even realize. That's why I was like, what is he wearing the size 10, 12? But no, what size are you wearing? Turn around and say hi to everybody. Hi. Did you have a good day? Yeah, this one's a 5, 6. That one's 5, 6. That's closer to your size. All right, you're going to go have some computer time? Yes. And then B-A-T-H? I on my first to show you on the big computer that is in shape. Um, I will come up and we'll read the email in a little bit. I'm just going to finish no, this no, box or two. I mean, I can show you that I finished it. Sure. Okay. He can show me, right? You guys don't mind if he shows me? <laughs> too cute said H-I-I-I-I-I-I. All right. These are size six. Oh, hi. <laughs> six petite. I was looking to see if they had the name. Sometimes they have the name. They're called the ankle. New with tags. Dollar start, guys. Dollar start, new with tags. Ann Taylor, the ankle, lots of career wear. Lots of career wear. I feel like um, it usually does pretty well on ThreadUp, so I'm probably just going to send some of this stuff back in if it doesn't sell. Um, keep it in the cycle. This is size six. These are really fun pants from Elevens. Elevens is a brand that is sometimes carried at Anthropology. E L E M A N T R Y. Yes. So if you have never seen this before, I'm going to teach you this tip. If you guys are thrifters, if you like to thrift, and if you also like anthropology, then sometimes it's hard to know whether it is. It is you're like, wow, that really looks like something that anthropology would have sold. I'll try it again in a minute. 66170 right there. RN. You can always look it up if you don't remember. You type in RN number and then 66170. That means it was made for anthropology. This one actually does say. You know me, the teacher in me likes to tell you guys things, but this one does actually say it underneath. They don't always. Sometimes you just have to remember that that number. So beautiful, fun print pocket pants. And let's see what the material is on these. I was showing you the, the tag and then I forgot to double check the material. Forgot to double check the material. These are viscose. This goes rayon blend. Okay. So let's go ahead. Dollar for anthropology. Excellent condition. Excellent condition. You guys, one thing that I see that's new, I'm going to try and run the next item for a dollar and 25 cents. There's a decimal point. Too cute. You're not supposed to be buying anything from me. Crazy. You're crazy. But thank you. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate you. I got to the bottom of that box. All right, somebody's going to need mama's attention, but let's go ahead and open up one more. This one's pretty heavy. So these are things that I've reclaimed forever ago, months ago, and just haven't gotten around to opening back up. They are all things that were accepted and available for sale on the ThreadUp site, but just didn't sell. That's what a reclaim is, means I paid the shipping to have it shipped back to me. And I have a bunch of these just kind of lying around in my someday pile. All right, let's see what this one was. This one is new with tags 3XL. It's Zenobia. It's really soft, almost like an ultra suede, but it is fashion fast fashion from here in Los Angeles, I think. Okay, I trust you. I trust you. Banana Bird is going to add that to her box. Size 3XL, new with tags. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. Awesome. I'll put it right into this box along with your scarf. Okay. This one is a really pretty print. Thank you, Banana Bird. Um, oh, that reminds me. I wanted to try and run this one. I wanted to try something just slightly different. I don't know why I thought I could sit down. I still can't. I haven't figured out how to have like my desk and my ring light and my stuff next to me. It's only taken me a year. So this is Club Monaco, which is a great brand for resale. It is, however, a size zero, which is a smaller size, but almost tropical-like in its print and has really fun stitching details and it's fully lined. So I wanted to try something here really quick. The moths are drawn to the light. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I wonder where it was. <laughs> okay, I'll have to try it on the next one. 30 seconds on the clock, Club Monaco Zero. One of the screens was presenting me with um, two cute. It's going to take that one. This is a beautiful one. This is really good quality. Add that to your pile. Really good quality. And then... Go International Size Medium. Go International Size Medium. It is a satin. Just looking for the wash wear tag. This one is satin. And it's almost um, cap sleeve, I guess. Size medium cap sleeve, and it's a generous medium. I don't know that brand, Go International, but it's in great shape. Excellent used condition. No snags that I can see running that one next. Hi, Candace. Hi, Vintage Fun Stuff. I did a quick little unboxing of a mystery box of thread up items, and now I'm just going through and pulling out some of my reclaims, things that I had sent into them, but that um, they have sent back because it was the wrong season. This one is Silence and Noise. Silence and Noise, extra small, has a little zipper detail on the side here. Silence and Noise, extra small, zipper detail on the side. Cute little, almost shift-like dress, very flowy. This is fun. Oh, there it was. I was about to do it. I saw it. Do, do, do. More 
Banana Republic. This one is a tank top, extra small, very long. I do not know why that says $39.50. That seems like a lot for a tank top. Maybe because it's so slinky. It's very soft, very long, very soft, very sheer, extra small, new with tags, tank top. And now when I click start auction, let me see. Oh yeah, no, it didn't. The decimal point went away. I thought maybe. Extra small Banana Republic, $39.50. I still like Banana Republic. There's not as many of them. <laughs> Amac, are you still here? Actually, Ashley, since you have a bundle started, I mean, this is crazy to me. They might... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. If they say Dolce and Gabbana, and Dolce and Gabbana Jr., six year, and they might very well be. I mean, they're well made, but oh no, they're probably not. Now that I look at the tag, you see how it's like cut, unless somebody cut it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like a nice enough tag to me, but at the same time, I don't know. So, but that's um, your little one size, size six. These are a cute sunflower print. So they could be faux Dolce & Gabbana. I don't know, I've never bought the real thing. So I think that's a good add to your, to your little bundle though. She's um, skinny, she's thin, My, a little thin mint. A little thin mint, more Banana Republic coming at ya. I swear I could have a whole Banana Republic show uh, I found so much of it when I'm thrifting and it really is good quality. It's one of my favorite brands. I know it's not as popular with the younger crowd, but this one does have, um, just a hint of pilling, just a hint of pilling, but otherwise I imagine it's wool. Let's check size zero. Nope. Polyester rayon. I was off, but it has the texture of a tweed. The texture between cute little flare skirt has a little bit of pilling size zero banana republic size zero banana republic and then susanna monaco is the next one that's off season though so unless somebody really wants that one i'll put that in the Pass pile. I see J. Crew new with tags, and ooh, this is pretty. So this is vanity sizing size three. Vanity sizing size three. This is a beautiful royal blue, clingy, flowy, size three. And the brand is one that I don't recognize. K K, and then it's Co Co K O H K O H, size three. Generous, plus size, long. I think it would, I, I wear a 1416 and I feel like this would be a little bit big on me. Okay, so I'm going to say it's closer to like 1820, maybe even 22. Size three. Two more items and then I'm going to call it a night. Unless somebody wants to make an offer on something in the bin. There's lots of items in the bin and you can offer up to um, 20, 30% off, I think. J. Crew new with tags, Driggs. These actually might be men's. That's probably why these came back to me. 3032 is a men's sizing. I mean, sometimes we do women's sizing that way, but these are actually men's, I think. 3032. And they're a nice twill pant, navy twill pant, J. Crew Outlet Driggs. Doesn't have the retail price on them, but it is new with tags. Great for a dollar if you know anybody that size. 30-32. Maybe I should take those to Buffalo. They don't take as much workwear or nice, but sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. It's cute dress, tinly, but it doesn't have a size. Does not have a size. 
So, not sure about that one. BCBG, size eight. Fun gathered top, uh, excuse me, um, it's a skirt, but with this fun pleated, pleated and gathered top. Not quite a pencil skirt, a little bit wider and more flowy, but definitely workwear. It looks like it may have had a sash at one point. It looks like the other one is missing. So that's why this one came back to me. I'm seeing that this box is not actually reclaims, but returns. They never put a packing slip inside, so it's hard to know. BCBG, black. And last item of the night, thank you for joining. Size four, Banana Republic. Uh, don't see Ryan, they're called. This is the Ryan Fit, size four, and it's a window pane plaid fully lined. Eventually, after the new year, I am going to do a career wear show because people are going back to work. I know, you know, so many people donated their wardrobes during um, COVID and I bought a lot of it to send in to thread up. I've got, you know, I think I, I think I sold like $10,000 worth of stuff, but this is the stuff that came back. So some of it will go right back to them. It's the endless cycle of things. Yes, yell at me later for sure. I'm glad you got a couple things. And um, uh, you get the AMAC hat in your bundle too. This one is the tra the traveling hat. You missed her show where we all joked around about who was going to get the hat. And this is the hat that I got. You can keep it or you can put it in a box back to AMAC. Um, or Swingbridge was there. Uh, Sarah Marie was there. We were all laughing and joking. So sisterhood of the traveling owl hat coming your way. <laughs> it was a while ago. It was about, I don't know, it was probably, gosh, at this point, the days just roll on and on. It was probably six weeks ago. <laughs> we all had a good time. It, that was the first box that she un, un, um, unveiled to us, and she got a second one since then. So, all right, let's see who we should go and read. It looks like, are there no kids sellers on? Or Let me click on new sellers. Sneakers, Disney pins. Why do they suggest Pokemon cards to me instead of, there's got to be somebody. It's not that late. It's only 640. Amanda's life. Perfect. Let's all head over to, to Amanda. And then we can ask her if she's got those puffer coats. And I can tag... Okay, then it's going to make me type the whole thing in before she pops up. Are you sure she's still alive? Or a different Amanda? I mean, you're talking about Atlanta kids, right? Atlanta. She's not live anymore. Yeah, she might have left. Anybody else? Jay was live, but that was part of a raid train, I think. Nope, she's not live. I mean, why they can't just, I guess maybe I, because I'm not in kids. All right. It's going to be a surprise, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Everybody have a really wonderful evening. And um, I think I'm going live again tomorrow. So definitely bookmark whichever show I have coming up next. Ooh, giveaway happy hour. Perfect. Here we go.